DuckTales is a side-scrolling platformer developed by Capcom and released on the NES back in 1989. It was based on the popular Saturday Morning Cartoon, and the game was created by some of the same folks who worked on the excellent Mega Man series. Needless to say, DuckTales was destined for greatness. Until recently, I had never put any serious time into this one. Despite the game being pegged as easy, the controls never clicked with me and I always died during this section of the first level. But I finally decided to give DuckTales some proper playing time, and I'm glad I did because this is quite the adventure. If you've never played this game before, you probably won't find it easy either. While in midair, you need to press down and the action button to initiate this pogo style jump. In order to take down enemies, you have to pogo jump around the screen. I'm not gonna lie, I found it very awkward at first, and I really struggled when I'd have to navigate hazards while enemies were flying at me. But I persevered, and eventually everything started to feel natural. Once you get past the initial learning curve, the controls are pretty good. The regular jumping and the pogo jumping are both predictable, and navigating tight jumps is a breeze. The best part of DuckTales is the level design. There are branching paths, hidden areas, and plenty of non-linear elements that encourage exploration. The goal of each stage is the same, make it to the end, defeat the boss, and collect the treasure, but your journey to that point will be different on each playthrough. There are also hidden walls that will drive you mad until you figure out where you're supposed to go. DuckTales doesn't always hold your hand on where to go next. With that said, there are just five levels, which is a bit on the short side for a platformer of this era. Thankfully, the five levels differ greatly. The moon stage deserves special attention with the sheer amount of variety. It starts off simple enough, but then you come upon a rocket ship. You must fully explore the ship, grabbing a key that unlocks a door where you find a remote control. Then you must make your way back down the rocket and use the remote to call Gizmo Duck to plow a path through the moon. The level is crafted together with so much thought, it's no wonder folks have such fond memories of this game. Generally, there are a few things to complain about, but DuckTales does have a few pitfalls that other NES games also share. Enemies respawn when you return to an area, but can also be pushed off the screen. Occasionally, enemies spawn in a dumb location, and you're forced to wait for them to get out of the way. The boss battles are also pretty anticlimactic. The patterns are really simple, and I doubt they'd give even the most casual of gamers any problems at all. But that's really it when it comes to flaws. Graphically, DuckTales has aged exceptionally well with bright chunky sprites and smooth animations. There is rarely a moment where the screen isn't filled with detail and sprites. Even more impressive is the soundtrack. When you start the game, you are treated to an excellent 8-bit rendition of the cartoon's opening theme. And the music quality stays at that high level throughout the adventure. All of the tracks feature plenty of catchy melodies that should have no problems getting stuck in your head. DuckTales, quite simply, does everything right. Few games manage to excel in every area, but DuckTales manages to do just that. I can't stress enough how awesome the level design is, and when you combine that with the tight controls, great graphics, and memorable soundtrack, you get a timeless experience. It's hard for me to give a game a full 5 out of 5. I reserve that to games I consider perfect. DuckTales is not perfect, there is a learning curve, and the game is a touch short. But damn is it close. 4 out of 5.